Okay, the fourth type of macro, and I'll give you an example of this, is an advanced scripting macro. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Dragon Medical is completely VB compliant, which means if you have the ability to write Visual Basics, then you can program Dragon to voice automate virtually any function of your PC. We're going to go through some examples now. Close window. No. No. Start dictation. Examination template. So for this type of macro, I said examination template. I've got this template popped up, but there are hidden voice fields within here. So if I turn on my microphone and say, go to patient number. Patient number field. Go to examination date. Examination date field. Go to subjective. Subjective field. So this type of macro is created for a physician that wanted to stand and look out his window while he's dictating. That physician didn't want to look at the screen to know where he was at in his template. So we programmed the text-to-speech feature to repeat where he's at in the field. So he says, go to patient number. It goes there. He says, go to examination date. It goes there. Now, there are a number of things. Virtually, you're unlimited as far as what you can do with advanced scripting. Another example, thank you, computer. Oh, no. I should be thanking you. You are the cat's pajamas. Meow. Now, we program the computer to talk back to you and say, no, I should be thanking you. Now, realistically, is that something that we need in our medical reporting? No. I just wanted to show you, if you can program the computer to talk back to you, you can essentially program it to do anything that you want. Therefore, increasing productivity by using custom commands. Dragon Templates with Voice Fields is another feature introduced in version 10 that quickly became one of my favorites. What it allows you to do is take existing templates or create new templates and insert voice fields so that you can navigate through that template, making it easier to populate. And again, seeing is believing, so let's go ahead and show you. Start dictation. Create consultation note. So, I said create consultation note, it automatically opened up my template. Now, in the template, you see this default value, default value, default value. Those are basically placeholders. They're voice fields. Now, I can turn on my microphone and say next field or previous field to navigate through those fields. Or, I can use my Philips Speech Mic Air and just press a button and it automatically jumps to the next fields. So let's move to the top here, and we're going to go ahead and populate this. We're going to populate it using our voice. We're going to navigate it using the speech mic. Adam Zimbelman, August 28, 2009. Joseph Pierce, MD. Thoracic and lumbar pain. The patient is a 31-year-old male who presents with pain in the lumbar area. Since injuring his back three days ago in a sports accident period, the patient has been very stiff in this area ever since, period. Vicodin, 10 milligrams once per day. No known drug allergies. The lungs are clear, period. Cardiovascular exam shows the regular rate and rhythm, period. The spine is tender in the lumbar area and the thoracic area period. Significant pain in the lumbar area with leg movements, but no ridiculous pain in the lower extremities period. Lumbar strain after recent injury. The patient is to continue with Vicodin 10 milligrams per day period. Patient therapy for flexibility and strength exercises will also be administered. And there you go. I've created a template, you know, I've navigated, and I've populated the whole thing in less than a minute. 
So that's the value of working with templates, working with the Dragon Voice template feature, and incorporating a Philips Speech Mic. Let's move on and talk about how Dragon can work in other applications. So far, I've just done Microsoft Word. Now, again, I said it works with every Windows-based application. It also works with all those Windows-based and Citrix-based EMRs and EHRs. The absolutely only reason I'm not showing you one is because I don't have one. But think about this. Anywhere that you can type in a program, you can turn on your microphone and dictate. With that said, we're going to go and do some, uh, some stuff in Excel. We've got Microsoft Excel open here. We're just going to navigate through it, create a little chart for you. Now, with this part of the demonstration, I'm not using any commands. I'm not using any macros. These are just the built-in commands and the built-in functionality with Windows-based applications like Excel. So just keep that in mind. Set column width to 22. Monday through Friday down, move to cell B1, 1,000 through 5,000 down, sum the column, average the column, create chart, bubble, OK. So easily we created a chart. You know, things like the, the formulas in Excel, that populated it automatically when I said sum the column, average the column. So we no longer have to figure out those crazy formulas. Monday through Friday down, you know, the computer's smart enough to know what Monday through Friday down. And the reason is, is because Dragon incorporates what is called natural language commands. It means that I can kind of tell the computer what to do based on what makes sense and it's going to do it. Now, as new users, you're probably thinking, okay, well, I wouldn't know to say Monday through Friday down, or I wouldn't know to say sum the column. How can I learn those commands? And that's easy, because Dragon Medical comes with a sample commands dialog window, which means all I got to do is turn on my microphone and say, what can I say? And a sample list opens up to the right of my screen. More importantly, that list of commands will only show depending upon what program you're in. Meaning, whatever application has focus, it's going to give you commands for that application. Okay, very cool. We're going to move on now to voice shortcuts. Dragon Voice Shortcuts collapse common multi-step tasks into direct commands. Basically, it allows us to search the web, find documents on our computer, and generate email simply by telling the computer what to do. Now there are three types of voice shortcuts available in Dragon Medical. There's voice shortcuts for web search, voice shortcuts for desktop search, and voice shortcuts for email and calendar. I'll give you an example of each. Search the web for orthopedic offices in Austin, Texas. As you can see with this command, it automatically opens up your default search engine and types in whatever it is that you said. Now, it's important to know about Voice Shortcut for Web Search as it also works directly with ICD-9 websites, PubMD, UpToDate, and WebMD. So you can easily search any of those websites just by telling the computer what to do. I'll give you some examples. Search WebMD for Celebrex. Search up to date for insomnia. There you go, another key feature in Dragon Medical allowing you to search common, popular medical websites. The second type of voice shortcuts is for desktop search. Now, this allows you to easily search your computer for documents, patient files, whatever it is. You no longer need to know the name of the file, you just need to know a specific keyword that's in the file. So a good example would be search computer for DNS comparison matrix. So when I say that, it goes through, it searches my computer. Now anything with the title or in the body that says DNS comparison matrix, it finds those documents for me. So again, so another great tool for increasing productivity.